Hello and welcome to another Star Citizen video. And this video was a little bit mental, showing the bugs and everything, and I thought in this video, rather than taking the constellation out, which is a guest ship by the way, I don't actually own the constellation, I'd take out the Aurora. I don't own one of these either, but it's the basic starter ship that you get in the game. And I thought I'd just have a little fly out, find the first person shooter base, have a look around, and just take it nice and easy. Now you can see the visuals are beautiful. I've actually knocked this down to low, believe it or not. Yeah, this is the low setting. Until they get it optimised, there's no point trying to put this on high or even higher, because your frame rate is just dire. So this is the basic Aurora, the basic, basic, basic one that you get for a starter package. So I thought we'd get in, take off, and let's go and have a look. Now they've added a new fly mode on here, and we notice in the right in the middle of the screen, there's a box that says PRE. This is precision mode, so I can only go a certain speed, and it's really for taking off and trying to manoeuvre. Well, like it says, precision. It gives you lots of control. And when you press your V key, you'll see the up arrow is telling me I need to go faster before I go into SCM, which is, if you think of it as space combat mode, it gives you enough speed to be able to turn at speed, manoeuvre quite easily. And once we're up to speed from that one, we can then go into cruise mode. As you can see, we're still in precision mode here. So I'm just going to come out a little bit. Not quite sure what he's doing. So as you can see, this is the maximum speed I can get. And now I've pressed the B key. That gives me my quantum drive locations. And you can see my quantum fuel up at the top. I've got 90% quantum fuel left. And to get to this location, there's only 2%, so there's nothing to worry about at the minute. So as you can see, I've now gone into space combat mode, which will increase my speed. And once we give it some, get up to full speed, we can then go into cruise mode, which means that it's very, very difficult to turn and manoeuvre. It really is just for cruising. So as you can see, I've gone into cruise mode now. It takes 10 seconds to get up to top speed, and as you can see, the little box is crew. Next to it, it's saying that in order to go into space combat mode, I would need to slow down. So that's giving you an idea, and the numbers at the bottom is the amount of thrust. And once we get up to full cruise speed, the engine will actually stop, as you would in real life, because it would just travel on forever through space. So let's go into quantum. So we're going to take 2% quantum fuel, which is nothing. So it should reflect that number up at the top once we actually get there. Quantum drive is now off. Now I know it's gone a little bit bananas, that was me, I actually knocked my mouse just as we were coming out of Quantum Drive, so that wasn't the game, that was my fault. So I've lost the location now, where is it? It's here somewhere. So we're still in space combat mode, so we're still, we're still moving at a slight pace, even though I, uh, I've taken all the thrusters off, so I'm going to increase the thrust now, now we know where we are. Get up to speed. And we can actually zoom in with the mouse wheel as well, if we want to gives you a better view like so and I may go into cruise mode in a minute just to get us there a little bit quicker Still in space com C uh, SCM, space combat mode, and I've overshot this terribly. And obviously, as I turn, we will continue to keep moving this way because the way you know you would travel on infinity wise, even though I've got coupled mode on, coupled mode will help. If I turn it off, we would travel on forever in that direction. So let's just get back in, and as we get a little bit closer, I'll drop my speed, and the SCM will drop down to PRE precision mode. And what we'll do is, I was going to say park up, I don't know what the correct term is, you want park up in space, what, do you, what would you call it? Come to a halt. It's quite a nice ship this, you know. It's quite manoeuvrable, I'm using the keyboard and mouse to fly around, it's not the best. I will get a joystick 
one of the official ones probably when it comes out. I think they're announcing it next week for the pre-orders. So that'll be uh, a stinking load of dosh, as you can imagine. So I don't actually know if there's anything to do here. I'm sure this is the first person area. Just gonna come in nice and slow. And it looks like there's a little red light up there where the others are blue. And on a lot of these space stations, that's where a sneaky little entrance is. So I may, um, whoops, I double clicked my button. How do I get out? There we go. I may EVA go out and have a look. So, as you can see, it's up there. It may be nothing, it may not even be a way in. I've got no idea. I've never been to this one before. I'm sure this was the first person shooter area. You can see it's highlighting the mailing in the distance. That's because it was another rental ship that I tried. Uh, and I left it on the space station landing pad. So anybody else can have it should they want it. So let's get out. EVA. Let's go up and see what's in there and whether we can actually get in. So here we are, we're out in the vastness of space and there's the aurora. How beautiful. Need some black bars now, very cinematic. Right, so let's see. let's blast ourselves over there and see if there is actually anything over there. Now I know because this is 2.0, it really is a test bed. A lot of the missions and things to do in here are not really... Uh, they don't really convey what the actual game will be. The devs have actually said, you know, we've just put some stuff together just to test out the functionality of having, you know, lots of ships in the universe, places to go, objects, and... Has he just crashed? <laughs> He's just come out of cruise <laughs> and smashed straight into it like I did, I overshot it. Poor bastard, look at that, his ship's actually in two there. <laughs> no sign of the body. <laughs> Obliterated. Yeah, so if you do get into the game, don't expect a huge amount of missions and a huge amount to do. There are a lot of uh, com relays to go in. You fly in and switch them on. There's another ship in the background there. But there's nothing that's going to, um, you know, th th there's no cargo or characters or things like that yet. Because obviously this really is, it's still alpha, remember, people. This is, this is We're a long way off release. Um, but so far, it's, it's really quite enjoyable. And now I've knocked the settings down a little bit, it seems quite stable. Even though it still looks good, even though this is on the lowest settings. So I don't know if we can actually get in here. By the looks of it, no. I thought that might have been a way in. This, this thing is huge, you know. I was going to say, you can see down at the bottom right, that's your health. Zero, zero, zero. I am wondering whether you will get a limited amount of fuel for your backpack your jetpack or whatever it's called and imagine you will because if they're going for that realistic vibe it'll be ch -ch -ch, you know to get yourself going in a certain direction and um, I hope that is put in there I hope you can get stranded and you'll need rescuing and things like that because we do know there is a search and rescue vehicle the cutlass and um, I'm also hoping that they'll get vicinity comms in like squad does for example you press like your V keys 20 meters within you and then you have your you know, your comms radio, or whether it's your faction in the game. I hope all that is included. So it looks like there's landing pads there, so do we try and get back to the ship, or do we go straight to it? Let's see if you straight back to the ship. We'll try and land on the landing pads, and see if this actually is the first person area. And if it is, it is it is a free-for-all. No rules out here. I can be shot coming in, I can be shot on the landing pad, I can kill as well, so... Interesting. Let's get down there and have a look. You know what? I actually quite like this ship. It's quite immersive. Alright, so I'm going to keep this in precision mode now. I'm just going to fly it over and see if we can get a little bit of height and land on one of those landing pads. And um, I'll see what happens from there, really.
Engaging landing mode. So now I'm going to go into landing mode. Landing request. And I'm going to uh, select a landing Manual. pad. And then I'm going to request Automated. landing permission. I'm just going there. And just for now, oh, there's, a, there's another Aurora coming in. Look at that. Whoa, careful. Looks like he's coming in manual, and then as I come in slowly, I want to try and get the angle as all puts it like a helicopter in, and then lift the nose up slightly. And I'm going to put this on autopilot for the sake of this, even though it looks like I could Radar land here. I just know it's going to keep me out of the way of this guy if I come in with auto land. So as soon as we get off this out of the ship now, it is anything goes, and you come equipped with the pistol, which so um. Keep an eye on this guy as soon as I get out. He could pop me, and that'll be the end of the video. So let's get our uh, let's get our six shooter ready. Now where did he go? Is he still in his cockpit? Hmm. He didn't fly out, did he? Where the hell did he go? He can't have got out of his ship and gone in here that quick, surely. Gotta be careful here, let's get the torch on. This is probably where I'm gonna get shot in the ass. Now I know there are assault weapons. Don't know whether grenades and everything else is in as yet. So he could be anywhere in here now. Right. Landing pad 6. I was going to say I need to remember, but it does actually tell you on the HUDs up. I hope you can get rid of that, just for the merging. Less icons on screen, the better. Now, if I was him and I was going to uh, attack me, I would be waiting on the other side of this door. Ready to pop some caps. So I'm going to... Uh, right. I've never been here before. Oh, assault weapon. Sounds quite nice, that. It's not click to uh, zoom in. Or aim down the side, should I say, ADS. You hold down the mouse button. But yeah, but do you know what? That actually feels quite good. It has almost got a... Um, sounds a daft thing to say, but it has almost got a first-person shooter element to it. I've only just noticed the hood at the bottom. It's telling me that I'm on auto-fire. I've got 30 rounds. I don't know what the buttons are to change any of that, and I know you can look round corners and lean. I don't, oh, looks like there's ammo, 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 ammo and stim packs. You lay down there and get a nurse to blow you off. Brilliant. We've got everything in this game. Now, this just reminds... Can you imagine if... Um, one of the dropships came down, five or six of your friends are in as marines, told that there's a alien species on this base, got to go out and clear it and find evidence, it would be very, very cool, very alien isolation, you're all coming in with your, your headlights on, you know, the comms, uh, especially if, if down the right hand side you had your friends health bars and things like that, very, very cool, there's a lot of great opportunities to do a lot of good things in this game, I'm thinking. And uh, we need to remember that this is this is almost like Alpha Alpha Alpha, as eventually there'll be no loading screens. There'll be uh, hopefully there'll be more players in the universe. I know in this end you can only get 16 in your little area. I don't think that's enough. I don't know whether the world's going to just feel dead and empty, but that's I'm sure they've thought about that as they've thought about everything else. So I'm looking down there. Now, is that my Aurora or is that his Aurora? Hmm. I, did, I don't know if I heard a ship take off while we were in here. Usually you can hear the ships from the outside taking off. Let's just go back out and have a look and see where that is my ship. Well, yeah, I think that. I think that. Yeah, that is my ship. So he's gone. Never heard him take off. Whoops! Just injured myself there. 
Well, I never heard him take off. Maybe I was too busy talking to you guys. Is that him out there? Have some of that. Have some of that, you bastard. Are you gonna let me in? No. Doesn't look like it wants to let me in. Oh well, maybe I have to try the other side. It's actually, um, to say there's a lot of bugs in it, it's actually really enjoyable. You can see the scope and scale of the game. Um, are you going to let me in? What's going on here? Something's going to miss here. I don't know whether there's a server lag, or it's just general... Oh, there we go, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Right, let's get back in the cockpit and get out of here. I presume that we get to keep the assault weapon with us, that would be nice if we did. System check. Landing gear raised. Disengaging autopilot. Engines. Oh shit. I was wanting to get a really nice cinematic sweeping up shot there. Good job we've got insurance on this thing. Which of course is going to be part of the game if you haven't got insurance. You may have to pay for an entire new ship. What will happen if you're a peasant and you have run out of money? I'm not entirely sure. That will be quite interesting. Uh, I know most of the ships now that if you buy pre-launch, you get uh, three years, especially with it being the three-year anniversary. And uh, hats off to the game. They've just made over a hundred million dollar backer status. That's quite a lot of money. So let's Quantum head back to the Corvalix shopping hood and then I shall bid you farewell when we get there. Now off. Well, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Quite a relaxed video. I'm quite chilled out tonight. Squads just come out with some new maps. This has just come out. Enjoying Rainbow Six. I'm probably going to be doing a, a video on my top five games of the year. Or top five games for me, really. Doesn't have to mean that they were out this year. I'm sure Star Citizen is in that list somewhere. And now uh, I'm just going to commit suicide. And that's probably another thing they need to look at. Because that's a bit ridiculous, boys. Anyway, excuse moi. Thanks for watching. This has been Star Citizen. If you have any questions about Star Citizen, anything you want to know, or anything you want me to show you, or anything you want me to do, I'm bored at the minute, senseless. No working at the minute. It's kind of everything's quietened off before Christmas. So, quite enjoy making the videos. Anything you want to know, anything you want to see, let me know. And I'll have a look at the ships as well. In the meantime, I've been Para in Space. This has been Star Citizen Persistent Universe Test version 2.0. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.